Hello everyone, good evening. We're learning Tanya Geras Akoidish Epistle 7, and uh, today is the 22nd day of Menachem Av. In today's lesson, the number 613 representing divine conduits of expression in Torah and mitzvahs, corresponding as well to the particular expressions of one's soul is very general and all-encompassing. However, it subdivides and splinters into endless subcategories and entities, both in Torah and Mitzvahs as well as actual souls. Okay. Now, although above in the lofty worlds of infinitude, this illumination radiates and extends itself in an unlimited and uh, finite fashion to animate worlds that are infinitely concealed. There are finite kinds of worlds, each of which is of infinite degree, which of course be the Rabbah is written in Idra Rabbah in Zayel. <laughs> Nevertheless, at this, as this radiation descends, by means of numerous contractions, to animate the beings that have been created, formed, and made. It is divided primarily into 613 rays, corresponding to the 613 commandments of the Torah. These commandments are in fact six. 113 kinds of conduits which uh, transmit this radiation from the infinite Ein Sof light. Whose function is to illumine men's soul, which comprises 248 organs, 365 sinews, totaling 613 elements. For it was mainly for the sake of men's soul that this radiation was caused to flow down below. To all those beings which have been created, formed, and made, their respective locations in the world of creation, Bria, Yitzira, formation, and Asiya action being below, the loftier worlds of infinite degree. Since the ultimate purpose of all these beings, as is known, is man. God's being is indeed utterly uncompounded so that there cannot possibly be any division into parts. Nevertheless, with regard to the radiation that descends below, whose main purpose is that it is that it permeates the Jewish soul, the concept of part does apply. Now the above mentioned rays are the 613 basic parts into which the radiance is diffused. More specifically, as the author of now goes on to say, each of these general parts subdivides into an infinite number of smaller parts. Of this number, the above division of the divine radiance into 613 parts corresponding to the 613 commandments is, pri is, is the primary basic division. More specifically, however, every single commandment subdivides into infinite details. These are the essentials of the detailed rulings of every commandment which are without number. As it is written, 60 are the queens, which as um, our sages comment, alludes to the 60 tractates. And the same verse continues, and maidens without number, which, as our sages comment, alludes to the innumerable rulings of the individual laws. For there are a downward flow 
from the supreme will, which is infinite. The author of now goes on to say that just as the soul is made of 248 organs and 365 sinews, so that it may absorb the uh, lumin luminosity, the luminosity of luminosity, the light of the 613 general radiations, so too the soul further divisible or divisible so that they may absorb the infinite degrees of the more differentiated radiations. And it is precisely so with men's, with men's soul, which has the means to absorb the innumerable details of the downward flow of divine radiance. For all the souls in the world were comprised of Adam, Adam the first man. All the souls originally came from him. Basically, his soul was <coughs> divisible into 613 elements, consisting of 248 organs and 365 sinews. More specifically, however, his soul was divisible into innumerable sparks, which are the souls of all Israel from the days of the patriarchs and the founders of the twelve tribes up to and including the time of the coming of Mashiach. When the promise of Scripture will be fulfilled, and the number of the children of Israel will be like the sand of the sea that cannot be measured nor counted. The Rebbe comment on this statement, the conclusion of this quotation is drawn from another verse, Genesis 16.10. So, because of its great quantity, why, the, why this cannot be measured? Because of its great quantity. As the Gemara says in Baba Metziah 84a, um, we understand from the above that Adam's soul, which comprised the innumerable sparks of individual souls, was capable of receiving the infinitely numerous detailed emanations from the radiance of the Supreme Will, which ultimately animates all of the individual Jewish souls. The takeaway from today's essay, God has given you the manual for His divine mission of drawing divine energy into this world through the fulfillment of the commandments. Each commandment is another strain of godly energy. Buchim Tiyu.